Alrighty. I got myself a little bit stuck. Normally in this situation, I'd reach for my Max tracks first thing I'd do. But today, I'm doing something different. Max tracks. I've had these bad boys. Well, I bought my first set over seven years ago. And then I probably bought my second set maybe two years after that. So I've had them for a fair while. And I've used these things time and time again. They're pretty much the first thing we reach for if we're doing a recovery in sand. They're just fantastic. Now, admittedly, they're not the perfect product. There's no such thing. I mean, you look at this, some of the lugs, lugs have come off. Admittedly, Max Tracks have now released a new set of tracks that actually have metal teeth. But, uh, I don't know. These work fine if you ask me. We've had these bent around tires, we've used them on mud, on sand, on snow. I wish on snow. <laughs> but these have held up really, really well. I'm so impressed with them. But you gotta wonder, when you look on eBay, you see knockoff versions, something that looks too good to be true, a price that looks just amazing. So for $76.90. I ordered myself a set of tracks. So you gotta wonder, what are they gonna be like? Because I mean, Max Tracks, for a pair of Max Tracks, the recommended retail is $300. Hello. Terry, that's the trouble with camping and reception, eh? Anyway, so I bought these for $76.90, and I can't wait to see how they perform. It comes with a bag, that's a bit fancy. When you look at the teeth, they are very, very similar to the teeth that treads have on them. And uh, you pretty much got your two grab handles here. Um, you can use both ends of the shovel, it looks like. As far as how they stack, man, if you had four of these, they would definitely take up a lot of room. The Max Tracks stack a lot nicer. On the bottom, you've got the same teeth that you'd expect to see to grip uh, whatever terrain you're on. So yeah, they look, they look the part. So let's see if they can actually get me out of this situation. Alrighty, so first things first, uh, like every other recovery situation with tracks, you pretty much got to dig in front and behind of the tire so that the tire's got, you know, something to climb up onto. So I'll just do that the whole way around the car, then we'll go from there. Apparently these things are rated to 10 ton, but they say that's on a flat surface. So we'll really see if they're up to the task a little bit later when we do a bridge test. But they seem to be, they feel very rigid as opposed to the Max tracks, so we'll see how they go. And another thing is they don't, the handles aren't near as nice as the Max tracks, like it's really not that comfortable to use. But that's more of an ergonomic thing than anything. So I've dug around all of the wheels, so now I'm going to stick these under. Alright, let's see how these babies go, eh? Well, so far I'd say that was $76.90 well spent. So at the moment I'm down south for a couple of weeks so I'm going to try and find different situations to test these out on and I'll try and compare them with the Max Tracks to see how they perform. So pretty excited. Like so far you wouldn't even know that it's been a recovery situation. They look great so we'll see how they go in the next clip. So I've got this bit of a ditch here. I'm going to try the Max Tracks and the Expo Recovery Track to see how they handle this. I reckon the Max Tracks will do it no dramas at all and we'll see how this one performs after. I could drive this, but we're here to test the tracks out, so let's do it. Alrighty, no drums at all, still in perfect condition. Well, 
result to me. That looks like it's absolutely fine. Unless I totally missed it. I don't know, you guys probably know if I missed it. I don't. <laughs> In this situation here, we've got a bit of a ledge that we need to get up. So I could probably drive this without the recovery track. But if you had a car that didn't have a great approach angle, you'd probably hit the front of your car up here. So to stop that, you can put a recovery track here like that and it'll just help you get up and over. So first we'll chuck the max track in the deep end and then we'll use the X ball and see how that goes. So let's do it. Did I totally miss it? <laughs> I think I totally missed it. All right, we might have to do that one again, I think. All right, that time I think I got it. <laughs> All righty, well, as expected, the Max Track survived the situation. All right, next up, the X-Bull. Well, I just had a quick look at the footage and yeah, both of them work exactly how you'd want them to in that situation. And besides a little couple of little tiny marks, you wouldn't know that this track's not brand new. So I'm pretty impressed with this track so far, so I've got to come up with some other tests that I can put it through, so I'm running out of ideas. I didn't expect it to last this long. So what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to do a tire rotation. Nah, just kidding. What we're doing today is seeing if we can use Max Tracks. Well, I know we can use Max Tracks as a jack plate, but uh, I'm just going to show you guys anyway with the Max Tracks, and then I'm going to try the X-Ball. Now, seeing as my teeth are already very mangled, I'm just going to indicate which ones I'm going to jack off. So as you can see, they're a little bit damaged from previous use, but uh, that's where I'm going to jack, but you're not going to notice any more differences than that. Because they are so flexible, you can wrap them around a tire, they're great for that. But when it comes to this, you try jacking off them and they just flex like nothing. Like I'll show you guys in a minute, the Max Track is just warping like crazy. Yeah, all right, I've run out of jack. I'll just show you guys this. This is a sight to see. Look how warped that is. And now watch it just bounce back. All right, so that didn't work. So now I'm gonna try two max tracks. Hopefully with the two, it'll be a bit more rigid and it will allow us to jack it. So I'm still using the same one with the marks on top. I got a bad feeling that this sand is just too soft. I might have to put four max tracks under. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe not. All right. The tire is off the ground, I can spin it, but it's in four wheel drive, so I can't actually spin it, spin it. There you go, so max tracks, two of them. You have to use two if it's very soft sand. So that's awesome. So now let's try the X-Ball recovery track and see how we go with that. All right, so next up, we got the X-Ball recovery track. So, oh yeah, there you go, that'll work. So I'm gonna use those five there. Uh, I forgot to show you guys the other ones. That's the four I used there. And as you can see, they're no more mangled than they were before. And the Max Trax is still in perfect condition. I actually reckon because this one's a bit more rigid, it might actually just work with the one. So we'll find out. Alrighty, I've managed to get the tire free. Uh, just with the ones, so that's awesome. But uh, I've got a feeling this one isn't going to bounce back as well, but we'll find out in a second. Alrighty, so these are the five that I was jacking off, so you can see visible fatigue marks there in the plastic. That being said, these knobs are still fine. Oh, yeah, we actually do have a crack there. So there you go. That being said, it, it still survived. I mean, it's still fine. <laughs> it still works. It didn't crack up, so it's not too bad. 
I think it's a fair result, but uh, not like the Max tracks. The Max tracks can take the punishment and they just bounce back. So there you go. Alrighty, so I got myself into a bit of a situation and the boys are laughing at me. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, we came over the hill and I didn't see that there was a bit of a mound there, so I'm going to try these to get myself out. Let's do it. I uh, just got over a sand dune and I was just kind of slowing down and there was a bit of a mound in front of me and I pretty much got my articulation happening <laughs> and I uh, had one wheel in the air and the other one was pretty much in the air too so You know what everyone's going to be saying on the video? What's that? Engage the locker! <laughs> <laughs> got the Expo recovery tracks out, dug a little bit, chucked them under there and with Justin's help we managed to get the car out pretty much so Another real life situation using the tracks. Admittedly, I could have put my diff lock on and got myself maybe out of that situation, but either way, the tracks did a really good job of helping me get out. Oh, so it's the rubber that's Is that plastic or rubber off your tire? That's rubber. No, I didn't crack it, just it's damaged it. And the other situation which we also used is um, quite a few times in the past I've used Max tracks to try and get up hills that are really steep or really soft. Works really, really well, especially if you've got 12 max tracks, you just pull them the whole way up the hill and you can just get yourself up. So I thought I'd try the same thing with these ones. So you put them up the hill, I had a go, the boys had a go, there was a little bit of wheel spin on them and they've actually come up really, really good. Like they helped us get up the hill like they're supposed to and uh, yeah, really, really stoked with them how that went. So there you go, another two situations where the Expo Recovery tracks have worked really, really well. Camera's on, man. Back, back to the guy with the red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've already tried one bridge test with these Expo recovery tracks. Now I'm going to try a second one. This one is way more gnarly than the other one I've tried. That is a pretty significant gully. So let's give it a whirl. Go through. Oh, go on. Is that really going to be alright? Yeah, the two bars are Oh, look at that! <laughs> um... A little bit of an angle. Yeah, a little bit. Custom. Alright, now some of you guys might be wondering, well, would Max Track survive that? So what do you guys reckon? Try the Maxis? Might as well. Might as well. Let's do it. Right. It's going to be no worse the other side. Oh, he's on the stair then, nearly. So, did it bend just as much, you reckon? Yeah. It looks pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look happy. There is a little bit of a bend in that one, too. There but, is, right. but I don't reckon this is... You know what, though? You know what, I reckon you could probably bend that the other way and then it'll be okay. I reckon this will pop back out by itself, almost. Maybe I should drive over it backwards. <laughs> there you go, good as you. Yeah. Mind you, I don't know if it was from this, but there is a little bit of a crack there. A little minuscule crack there. So, but still, that beat like... <laughs> For what these have gone through... <laughs> Just the little things that amuse people. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so for the past couple of weeks I've been testing out these Expo recovery tracks from eBay. $67.90 delivered. That's compared to... A couple hundred bucks. A couple of hundred bucks and Max Tracks which is $300 for two. That's a pretty massive difference but what do you guys reckon for $69.70? Sorry, whatever. <laughs> 60... <laughs> Talk. <laughs> They've done the job, they have actually worked. A cheap option, basically. For sure, like, we've tested them like Max Track, or oh, Treads, recovery tracks, recovery that is should be tested and they've survived. Okay, my vlogging. For sure, I mean, you can see, like, there's little white bits because it's been fatigued, the plastic. Oh, no, no, like, especially during the bridge test, hey, like, it really... Pretty much after every lug, yeah, just... there's, like, you can see the stress fractures in the plastic from them being bent. That's it. It's almost an advantage of the Max Tracks because they're thinner, they allow for more kind of bendability on those. <laughs> They're quite rigid, this, aren't they? This sucker's really, really <laughs> yeah. nearly broken there. That's, she's a bit of a banana. That's it. I don't know, we will point out, but the Max Track does have a fracture in it. I did have a little fracture, it but does, I wouldn't but call it. But that's two years worth 
vlogging. Of, and that's this it. was only, what, three or four days? Yes. We Can't tried to. That's been rocks and everything. Yeah. Oh, so. These have been hammered. And I mean, like, I've had Max tracks on my roof for six years. And I think that's one of the oldest ones I have. And that's still not really faded. Well, I reckon if you kept those in the sun, that would fade pretty fast. We've been debating about the colour, too. Yeah. Is it actually red or is it pink? I don't know. When you look at that and that... That's definitely more red. So, uh, don't order salmon. the red ones because they look pink. I reckon it's maroon like his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he only owns one shirt, by the oh, way. <laughs> Shut up, guys. <laughs> Another thing is stacky, hey? Oh, yeah. Like, so two of those recovery tracks are pretty much four oh, max yeah, tracks. You look oh, like a bog. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's what four max tracks would be like. Yeah, so the stacking absolutely sucks. So it's going to sit pretty high on your roof. I think you might actually need a, you know, a nav driver. I'm a nav driver, I need max tracks more. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go, guys. Actually, one other thing if you do want to get max tracks, the cheapest way to get them, go to Super Cheap Auto on a 30% off sale. You can not, get them. Not sponsored at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. 210 bucks you can get them for, 30% off. So something to keep in mind. Oh, yeah. Gives you back details. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and remember to buy us a coffee. We yes. need it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, viable option, eh? Like, <laughs> Certainly. If you went down to the beach just for some fishing now and again, why would you spend 300 bucks? That's it. So It's all about the name, people. It's just, all about the name. It's just the longevity. If yeah. you're out there once or twice a month, always yeah. for driving, Grab these I would babies. probably go something a bit more well-known because these will eventually fatigue over time, For I reckon, sure. but... And it gives you bragging rights to your mates. Yeah. Max yeah. tracks. Yeah. There you it go. even comes with a sticker. <laughs> a sticker. <laughs> 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 Alright, guys, well, that's a wrap. We're going to get some dinner happening, so catch you guys in another video. Remember, kids, safety first.